Hello people, it's me again Tunji from CZ Graphics. I want to say a big thank you everyone who has been following me on Instagram, Facebook and on YouTube. And um, if this is your first time of watching my video, please remember to hit the subscribe button. Alright, so without wasting time, this is what we're going to be doing today. and. Um, First, I would like to create a new document. So to do that, I'm going to click on File and select New. So for this project, I'm going to be using 634 by 82. Okay, 300. Well, let me leave that. All right. So every other thing is fine. So I'll click Create. Okay, so um, I have all my exercise file here. Okay, so I have them in here. I have my background. I have a picture of um, Olu Jacobs. I have two faces. Okay, so I'm gonna start bringing in content now. So I'll start with this. I'll drag and drop in, and I'm gonna rotate it and increase the size. Oops, that's way too big. All right, most all these images are images I got from Google. All right, I downloaded everything from Google. So if you're looking for this type of image, just type grunged image or grunged background. I'm sure Google will give you um, this image as part of the options to select. So I have that in and I'll drag this also. And I'll scale this eye. Bigger and just the opacity a little bit, yeah. Okay, so um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit uh, and I'll select my um, I'll select um, polygonal lasso 2 and start drawing. The I'm gonna create a new layer and I'll call this layer mask. Oh, here too. So fill it with black, I'll hit Alt Backspace or Option Backspace, that's for Mac users. And um, I'll hit Ctrl D to deselect. Okay, and I am going to mask it and I'll click on brush here. I'll click on this icon or this. And I have um, some of the grunge brush I downloaded from the internet. So if you're looking for this type of brushes, I would advise you just search for grunge brush. Alright, so we have lots of grunge brush online. I am going to look for it. Alright, so I have this. I'll reduce the spacing. Increase the size a little bit. Make sure this is set to black. And I'll start brushing. Um, no, I need to check this. I'll make sure this is set to 60 or 50 is fine. So I'm going to increase the size so I'll be increasing the size and I'll be reducing it so as to create a, create a random crop on the a random effect on the Okay, so I'm gonna bring in my images now. So I'll start with um, the Jacobs, but I already have the images cropped, so I am going to just drag and drop, and I am going to position him right here. Now reduce the size a little bit. Reduce the size a little bit. All right, and I am going to create the clipping mask. 
so what I'll do is I'm going to out and click on this oops no 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 it should be control all right sorry control click to create um, a marquee selection and I am going to select my uh, polygonal lasso tool here and hold on alt and crop out the paths I don't want as part of the um, my mask on the picture so I'm gonna crop this out and crop this so nice all right so I'm going to what else what else what else what else yeah so I'll select the layer and hold on alt and click oops no I'm holding on alt just click all right so I have that part chopped off and I'll click on the maxed um, box and select brush change the type of brush I have here I'm gonna use a soft rounder brush where I use soft round brush soft round brush here you are so I'll increase the size a little bit and start brushing all right so I noticed something this picture is taking too much space so I'm going to break the link between the two um, boxes and push this oops not that this now why did I do that if I don't break the link and I try to move the image all right this is what's gonna happen I'm gonna connect the two of them again and if I move did you see that now this is not what I want so I'm gonna break the link and I'll push this in all right you see the difference so I'll push this in right here and um, I'm gonna increase it a little bit just a little bit uh, no it's affecting my image all right so I'm going to come here and click on brush make it this set to white and I'll start brushing all right oh no I don't see enough sound for it I don't want this to be visible. Okay. Now let's break in two face. So I have two face right here. All right. And for okay, I'm gonna scale it down. And um, there's something I'd like to do here because I don't want two face picture to be bigger than um, Ole Jacobs picture. So what I'll do is I'm going to reduce the opacity. And I'll position. I'm going to zoom in and position to face this right here. I'm trying to use the size of Ole Jacobs eyeball to get the same size with um, Two Face. All right. So I think that's it. And I'll increase the opacity again. And I'll push this here. No, this is a little bit, just a little bit, a little bit more. All right. This a little bit more just a little bit all right a little bit mm. just a little bit more okay yeah okay so um what's the next thing okay so the next thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to hide this layer and I'll come here, go to hue, click on this icon, and I'm going to push this down to reduce the color, the strength of the color on the image. And I'm going to create a new layer now by going to layer new and click on uh, new and call this highlights or no, no, no just call it dodge. dodge. Oh uh, no, I'll call it highlight. I'll make this highlight. Alright. Um I'm thinking what should what I should should I make it dodge? Uh I'll make it the burn. Let me just make it burn. And I'll set this to overlay. I'll click OK. 
and I'll come here choose born zoom in and uh, yes yeah, exposure set to 50 perfect so born all right now it's affecting this part of the uh, of um, my project so I don't want that so I'll hit control Z and I'll hold down control to create a marquee around the shape so now it will only affect this part and not outside the grunge effect I did so I'm going to click on this now and I'll brush all right so I'll brush it make my brush bigger I'll brush this side and then reduce the side of brush again and I'll brush this side all right so brush now brushing twice all right so I'll do the same thing here I'll brush one more time increase the size again and just make this um let's say to uh, 15 or 60 15 and I'll increase the size and I'll brush all right <coughs> excuse me okay so um the next thing I'm going to do is to create a new layer again and I'll make this um, still overlay and I'll call this highlight highlight alright I'll say okay now this time I'm going to do the same thing now I'm I see I have the marquee selection here so I'm going to come here and choose the dodge and this time I'm only going to brush this part of the image actually um, my dodge may not look as perfect as the way I want it now because my graphic tablet pen dropped and it stopped working so I'm work I'm doing this with my mouse and really I'm not a fan of um, mouse like that I prefer the graphics tablet okay so that is that and I notice this is wrong here so I'll hit Control D or Command D for um, Mac users I'll hit E on my on my keyboard for that's the shortcut for eraser so I'm gonna go to eraser this part I'm going to clean up this part not eraser I'm gonna clean up this part here nice and um, the next thing I'll do is I'm, I'm going to take out this part of the image so I'll come here and choose brush still on my brush it's black here make sure this set to black so I'm going to reduce the size and um, sorry I'm on eraser instead of brush so I'm select brush oops that's way too much good size let's clean off the part of the image not too much. This few part of the image. All right. So I'm gonna bring in Two Face. Okay. So I'll do the same thing for Two Face. So I'll push, put all this in a folder. So shift select all the folders and hold and shift and click on the folder icon. So I'll call this blue and let's go J. Alright, so let's start with two face for two face. I'm gonna create a new layer and I'll call this um burn burn. I sure this is set to overlay. Okay. And I'll create a mask. I mean, I'll, I'm gonna create um, um, a selection mark here around it. And okay, size of my brush, make sure this is set to. I'm gonna go to bone here, this is set to 50. And I'm gonna brush. Alright, I'll brush. Brush it. Okay, this some brush right here, so I'm gonna do the same thing here and reduce the size again and just brush here, 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 here. Brush. Alright, so I'm gonna create a mask a mask on this um, layer. But first I need to deselect this, so I'll hit Ctrl D and I'll create a mask, then 
going to make sure this is set to this is some black and I'll click on brush I need to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing clearly here so I'll brush starting from here so I'll brush it gently zoom out and um, yeah I think we're making progress so I'll create a new layer again I'm gonna create a new layer so I've got layer new but this time I'll make this um, overlay and make this highlight highlight and fill it then I'll use dodge this time so I increase the size and I'll brush all right okay all right so I'm gonna um, yeah I think that's it then I'm gonna put him also I'm gonna put the three layers in the folder so I'll call this to no face, no fat. The face. Okay. Okay, so it's time for us to start bringing in our backgrounds. So I'll come here and I'll bring in my background starting with the cloud. Alright. Starting with the cloud. The cloud. So I'll increase the size. Okay, so I just know this is an error here. There's an error here. This is not supposed to happen. So I'm gonna hide this, then go to the two face. No, make it visible so I can see when I'm, I'm clearing it. So I'll click here, zoom in, and select brush. There's the size of my brush, and I'll start brushing. Okay, perfect. Okay, so, um, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this. All right, I'll rotate it. So I'll position this here, and I'll do the same thing I did the other time by holding on control and then drag and drop this on on this. And I am going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to click right here and choose the brush tool, increase the size, and I'll brush. Okay, brush. visible because some ah nah so I'm gonna sample a color here and I'll sample the color select brush and um brush alright that's wrong so I'm gonna I'm trying to correct it and I'll change it back to overlay good alright so back to this to bring in my the um, collision image so I'll drag and drop this here 
I'm going to put this here, reduce the size. Okay. And push this down. And push it down. Mm. Then I'll use the same effects. So I'll hold an alt and drag and make a copy of the mask on this layer and put the link now push this to about this point right here uh, uh, no I notice um I've affected too much of the collision image so I'll click here click on brush and look for my brush now Space and use the size of the brush. Is the size all right? Um, so I'll create a new layer. is red and then wait okay, this is red oops no red okay and I'll start brushing okay brush no that's too much it's too much so I'll turn this to screen Okay, just the opacity a little bit and drag it down. Drag it down. Push this up. You can see there's a there's the tip of this layer is showing here so I don't want that to happen sorry this the size and got this yes all right and um now this time I'll sample a color from here no 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 let's create a new layer I'll call the brush again brush two and make sure this is set to dark red and uh, create a marquee selection and I'm gonna start brushing mm -mm. now create a new layer now this time set this to black alright so brush brush Select. Ah, all right. So I need to clear off this part of um, this layer. So I hit the razor, and I'm gonna start from this one. Clear it off. Mm -hmm. Make this visible. So I'll do the same thing. This. All right. So I'm going 
going to come here oops you can see it all right um after clicking on this icon i selected color lookup all right now i, can, I notice it's out of the frame of my um video so i selected color lookup and i'm going to select hedgy hammer good and i am going to posi position it right here no 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 right here all right and I'm gonna reduce the opacity a little bit, just a little bit, and I'll make a copy of this. All right, push this up and select some light. No, let's make it color. Uh, no, some light. Good. No. All right. So uh, I'm going to reduce it and um. I need to push the um, darker tone here out. So to do that, I'm gonna go to level and mask this. Oops, that's not level, that's curved. Curve, not curved, curve. So I'm gonna click on this and um, so um, can I least see this, I'm pushing this down. Good. All right. So, um, okay. So I'm going to reduce the opacity of this a little bit more, and I am going to make a copy of this and say, okay. And zoom out. And you know what? Better still. Just position this here and uh, brush, increase the size of the brush, and clear off this part right here. Clear off this part right here, get it up. All right, so I'm going to select this layer right here. All right, that's the brush layer. I'll call it brush one, brush one, and I'm going to fill the blur. Gaussian blur and I'll blow it just a little bit uh, yeah just a little bit just tiny yeah and I'll do the same thing for this I'll just click this and it's automatically applied all right and um, the next thing is to make a copy of this and drag and drop on this and do the same thing good uh yeah we're almost getting to the end part of this tutorial so the next thing we're going to do is to create a new layer again i'll create a new layer and i'll call this lens flare so fill it with black i'm gonna fill it with black all right and i'll go to future uh render and um, lens flare I'll push this here this way so okay and I'll make a screen then I'll position this here and scale it scale it I'm going to scale it scale it okay Scaling is way too much, so it is just a little bit nice. Then I'll mask it, then I'll brush again. Let's brush just this pad, all right, and create a new layer. Call this white brush. So, okay, so this is the white. I mean, make it yellow. All right, so I'll brush it. I'll click on brush and brush that this part of the layer twice. And 
actually I didn't I didn't move my my mouse hardly click twice so I'm going to say overlay and I'll increase it a little bit just a little bit and make a new layer again but this time I'm gonna call this uh, just white actually this previous one supposed to be yellow but okay let me just make it yellow okay, yellow okay so I'll make this white and click here and select white and brush and I'll just brush this part all right just this part good all right so um the next thing is to bring in our last image which is um this actually i don't know what this is okay so um just in case you are this person and you're watching this tutorial i'm so sorry i got this image online all right do you think he's going to watch this tutorial it's an eight element so i don't think he's going to watch it and if you watch it and found out i use your picture i'm so sorry all right just join me to help people together. All right, so I'm gonna push this in about this point. Okay. Um, push this here. Okay. Let's turn it here, and I am going to hold down Alt and drag. I'm push position this here and um click this band and select brush and just kind of clean off the um part i don't want visible okay so i'm gonna come here again now and i'll select brush again reduce the size of my brush and just brush this part of this picture oops no that's not what i want to do that was a mistake. So make this visible again. All right. Then I'll go to adjustment layer and mask it and um, scroll down and uh, actually I have this. Um, okay. I'll push push this in here. Change this to black this um red but not too red like red yellow okay make this um let's say a lighter yellow maybe orange okay and i'll reduce the opacity just a little bit a little bit all right and um I'll click I'll hold on I'll hold I'm holding on control now and I clicked here to make a quick around the layer and I'll make a new layer now and call this black brush all right and I'll zoom out select brush and actually I want I don't want black I want something something close to dark red like this and I'll start brushing. Brush it. Just brush. Position this picture right below this. It should be no, 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 no. All right. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna use a razor. Oh, okay. I'm gonna add this to this. Okay. Then I'll, I'm gonna create a new layer and call this light. Light and 
So let my dodge two and just oops, I made a mistake. Should I fill it with gray? So I'll start again, call it light overlay feel beautiful. So dodge should I brush. Face. I want that part to be more brighter. Okay. Then for my cloud, I'll make a copy of the cloud and I'll push this up to about here. No, 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 no. Okay, no. I am going to darken it a little bit because it's looking too bright. Uh, my cloud. Call oh, this cloud. Okay, cloud. All right, so I'm going to come here. So that curve. I don't know why. Scroll down and. Just you know, ducking it more. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So um, the next thing I'll do is I'm going to add. Um, I'm going to create a new layer. I call this noise, and I'll fill it with black fill it with black and make sure this is your foreground background is set to black and white and I'll go to noise and say add noise let me curse this make this monochrome and also let's soft light is this soft light or overlay no soft light soft light reduce the opacity all right, this the opacity. All right, and um, I'll go to color lookup again. So I'll come here and say color lookup. All right. So anytime you see me click on this icon, I'm not selecting any other thing than color lookup. All right. So I'm gonna say um, hg Humber, and um, I'll reduce the opacity. So something like this okay and yeah and I am going to hit Control shift E all right to make it um, a screenshot of all my layers and I'll go to filter camera raw okay so I have camera raw open I'll open some of those just so you guys can see what all the adjustment all the adjustment I'm making first I'm gonna increase the exposure nice exposure increase the exposure highlight should um, be increased also and um, shadow should increase a little bit no just a little bit shadow just small clarity should go up all right and um, Vibrance should go up also, just a little bit, and I'll come here, increase the sharpness, make it more sharp, and um, I'll say okay. All right, so this is my result. So it's time for us to start bringing our text. So I'm going to type broken, broken. I'm gonna hide this so you guys can see what I'm using. Broken and I'll increase the size. I'm pushing this here and um, I'll fill it with. Um, I'll make the color red. All right, I'll make it red. Just brown red or brown. Is there anything like brown red? Anyways. Alright, so I'll push this down here and um, 
I'll make a copy, hide this, convert, I'll rasterize this, and I'll zoom in and break the text like this. Break it, break it, break it, break it. And break it, break it, break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it. All right, and I'll hit Ctrl Shift J. So I have them in two layers now. So there's the crop path. So I'm gonna push this up this way. Just move it a little bit. And to create the particles, the broken particles, I'm going to just um, make a selection around that corner and hit Ctrl Ctrl Shift J or Command Shift J. And I'll push this out over here and even rotate it just to make it look more real. And I'll do the same thing here. I'm sure you get the idea. So we'll do the same thing and push this that out also. Alright. Now so I'll type the next thing that says um the E adventure 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 of father and son so but this time I'll make this black All right and I'm going to just cut this down Really, one of the things I, one of the um, key thing I like about this design is the fact that it's simple, and um, I have enough room to put my content. Okay, and please, if you're new to my channel, remember to hit the subscribe button. All right, doing this will encourage me to always do more tutorials. So I'm going to scale this down. I downloaded this online. I got this from Google. So if you're looking at it, if you're looking for something like this, just go online and search for movie credit. And if you have this, so I'm going to sample this color right here. Or uh -oh. okay, just come here. Click on the FX and say um, blend option. Oops, no, Ooh, no, 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 no. Blend option, and I am going to select color overlay. So for this one, I'm going to just sample this. I say OK, I click OK, and um, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, all right. So one last thing again is the text I put here, and I'm gonna pause the video, and when I come back, you find it there okay so i really want to appreciate you guys for your time i'll see you in my next tutorial bye peace out